Mr. Fuller. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. Are you ready to teach the lesson on shapes? Absolutely. So I was thinking at the beginning um, that you could, at the beginning class, that you could put up the shapes around the room just for students to see. And uh, while you're doing that, I will greet the students at the door. That sounds good. Uh, and then I was thinking for this, uh, this uh, particular lesson, we could team teach at first and then uh, do a couple of different stations mm -hmm. afterwards. That, yeah, that sounds good. Um, can I see a list of the I can statements that we came up with? Yeah, they're right here. Uh, so the, I, th I was thinking that the I can statement that we would focus on for this lesson would be I can place shapes into categories and then we would want all students to be able to name the broad categories of 2D shapes. So like quadrilaterals and triangles. And then we would want 80% of students to be able to differentiate between the different types of quadrilaterals. Uh, so like squares and rectangles mm -hmm. and parallelograms. And then we would want 60% of students to differentiate between the quadrilaterals and triangles. Okay. Uh, and so then I think we uh, should assess these uh, I can statements by using an exit ticket at the end of class mm -hmm. uh, and that we should differentiate the exit tickets based on the um, level of the students. So mm -hmm. we could have two or three different groups of math students for this lesson and the exit ticket could be um, given according to what we expect them to know at the end. Mm -hmm. So like some students may have to identify like a rhombus, parallelogram, or trapezoid, and others might have to identify like a square, triangle, and rectangle. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, um, Tommy has a behavior intervention plan, so um, that's one thing that we need to be aware of during this lesson. And uh, we can remind him of his um, replacement behaviors that we want to see from him um, if he does struggle during this lesson. Good thinking. I can document his behaviors and the response to okay. it. Oh, also, um, Brenda has vision trouble, so uh, she needs larger printed papers. And uh, I'll make sure that the papers are set up at each station for her to have access to. Good. Uh, you can do that, at, and then um, at the beginning of class, while I write our names on the board, uh, after that uh, is done, we can finish getting the rest of our materials ready for the lesson. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, for the introduction, I think we should discuss the attributes of like a square, a rectangle, triangle, you know. A square has four sides, um, rectangles, triangles, three sides, three angles, um, and have students um, create the basic shapes. And if needed, depending on their level, they can use the uh, geopods to create the shapes as well. Yep. And so then we will go into some team teaching um, where we just like teach about the different aspects and attributes of quadrilaterals and triangles uh, specifically like they have like four sides and four corners for quadrilaterals um, so for one of the stations I think we should um, just do like the basic shapes of square the rectangle and parallelogram yep I agree and then for the other station uh, for the more advanced students, I think that we should focus on triangles, but for the students who we don't expect them to know about triangles, I think we should stick with quadrilaterals for that station and give them some more practice. Okay, and then I think at each station we should have a guided practice to go with um, what the students are learning so that we can use that for the assessment as well. Yep, and so then uh, once we finish the stations, we'll, we'll move into the closure aspect where we wrap the lesson up really nicely and give our exit tickets out to the students. And the, the exit, exit tickets have the, um, based on the students' uh, needs and performance, uh, we'll give it accordingly. Yeah. 
of course. Um, and then during the stations, we can monitor the behavior at our station um, and if we need, and we can uh, appropriately respond to it. Uh, during the other parts of the lesson, we can Just uh, when whoever observes it uh, can deal with mm -hmm. it. So, like, if you're on one side of the room and I'm on another, if um, Johnny is closest to you and um, he needs the attention that he needs, that then you can um, deal with that uh, based on like what you see. Yep, exactly. Um, and then I was thinking that we could um, use Illuminate to assess the different groups and. Um, based on the data that we collected during the lesson, we can either make plans to move forward um, about teaching shapes or plans to reteach based on how the students do. Yep, and then in the grade book, uh, we'll mark the students based on the level uh, they're expected to master and indicate what that level is. All right, well, that sounds great. All right. We got this. All right, let's te teach. let's teach this lesson.